Hey, hey folks, it's me, Gay Fox of Angel Fox Gaming Studios. What's up? Nice to see you all again. Today, I'm bringing you a new series, Senra Cover Extra Versus. I know a lot of people kind of don't like this series due to some uh, perceived taboos. Uh, I like to just think I'm very honest with myself. I like the TNA. I'm going to play the TNA. I'm going to bring you the TNA. And of course, I'm gonna be dipping on all the little secrets and stuff. I, I played the previous versions. I played a uh, Shinobi versus. I played the uh, little cookie game they also had. I liked them. They were cool. Say nothing for the TNA. <laughs> uh, also, you know, I'm gonna be like I said, I'm gonna be dipping in and out of all the little secrets and stuff. I'm gonna be showing you guys all the good spots, how to get that really hard trophy that you need to get. Like uh, the previous games, 777 hits. Yeah, that was not fun. But hey, stick around for a while. It's going to be a pretty good game. Alright, here's the game. Yes. Yeah. Alright, let's see. We got the Kagura Millennium Festival, Story Mode, the Shinobi Dojo, Online, Dressing Room. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to spend quite a bit of time in the dressing room later. The library where I can see my picks, my music, and my game stats. The settings, game related crap, you know. And the records where you can save, load, or transfer your data. This game does have cross save. Unfortunately, it does not have cross buy. So you have to buy the game on both consoles before records is really useful for you. Here we go, let's look at the settings. Okay, we got the craft the volume control. Oh, hey, guy. Okay, I'm gonna assume this changes who is speaking. Yes, it does. Looks like we have all the regular girls here from each of the schools. Oh, they're also giving us the teachers as well. All right, cool. Okay, we got the controls. Standard stuff on the controls. Nothing really groundbreaking. And the visuals. Oh. They allow you to change whether you can see the clothing damage. Oh, so beautiful! We also have the ability to skip story scenes. That's quite nice. All right, now, that's all we're gonna see from uh, from the settings right now. Let's start off on this adventure. All right, folks, I'm about to start up the Kagura Millennium Festival. Story mode, bitches. Alright, alright, it's loaded up, it's loaded up. Let's see, ooh. Looks like we're getting a, ooh, nice movie scene first. Alright! Fate of a Shinobi is death, to be born in shadow, to die in shadow. The fate of a Shinobi is death. Some Naruto stuff right here. Thought this was about to day and night. Human history is full of calamity. Despair, beyond all reason or comprehension. Oh, they're, they're going back to the Yoma. Our human history is full of calamity. There is some calamity in the Yoma. They introduced the history of the Survivors. History has its viewers. One blow after another from Survivors to the Yoma. Yeah, yeah, folks, they're, they're definitely referring to the Yoma. The divorce, defeat, natural disaster, the power of evil intentions. Okay, maybe not. They're referring to. The evil in human hearts. Okay. Sandy is calamity. Put one's life on the line. Hero! Shinobi. That is the mission of all Shinobi in this day and age. Okay. So, they're pretty much getting us the OD. You know? Shinobi used to be the assassin. Now, they're heroes. Very few Shinobi survived that mission. Okay. They're throwing back to the fact that they're Kagura. They're not too, uh, not too good right now. They don't have no room for tears, no time for sorrow. All oh, Shinobi know how rare it is for one of them to return alive. So they're really pounded in that the main characters we have right now, they're pretty much fucking prodigies. Their ninja, ninja life is short, and briefly, they're just a corpse on the road, they're forgotten. Nobody gives a fuck when a ninja dies. They give their lives and receive nothing in return. Like flowers, plucked and taken. Never given names. Alright, let's see, let's see. With all the remains of a shinobi is a wandering spirit, what does that spirit feel? 
Resentment? Desires unfulfilled? Regret over tasks left undone? Or... What do they do? I wonder. What does a shinobi authority die feel? The story you're about to hear is a great festival to calm the wandering souls of those wandering shinobi. Oh, so it's the people that die with regrets. Gonna put them to sleep. Alright, let's see the seat. Will the young shinobi see at the end of this midsummer party? What will the young shinobi students see at the end of this midsummer party? What will they be and what will they cry for? No one knows yet. A summer festival is about to begin. Time for a Alright folks, that was it for the beginning of the story parts. Here we go, the first anime scene, which you said. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to quiet down a bit because I kind of want to watch this. Peace. Alright, we got Ryo B and Ryo Ki visiting there. I'm gonna assume it's their sister's rape and theory. You know, their sisters, one of their primary motivations for both becoming a shinobi and wanting to kill Miyabi in the original game. Yeah, definitely their sister over here praying. Huh? Oh, we get some hometown in the first part. Yes. Stop that ass. Yes, folks. Ryobi is a machoist. She's the broad one. Ryobi. Riona is the... Oh, hey, there's the cover. Riona is the, uh, flatty. Those are the girls in the Lady of Festival, I'm assuming. They got some, some swine feast going on. That Shinobi Kekai or Hot Tenonio Hello, purple fire. Alright, where I was going to go, Ghostbusters here. Shit. Oh, that's the revival technique! No, they call their soul. Ah, that's what their sister looks like, huh? Damn! You know, I know all the characters that Sarah have to be hot, but damn, she is hot. Yo, Kyo. Yo. Oh, she about to kill you, bitch. Sorry, sorry, Yo. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can kill that. She's really tough. Oh, who's her name? Is Riona. Riona and Rio B. It's been a while since I played Shinobi vs. It's not that he expected to remember all of them. And on top of that, they're twins. What did you expect? Yes, folks, they're fraternal twins. One clearly got the good parts of the game.
What the fuck is up with this coffin? Holy fuck, he blew up! Did they just blow her up? Wow, uh, we got some freaky shit. Alright, here's a little, uh... Ah, it's one of these type scenes, alright. I advanced this myself. Yeah, your back must hurt, huh? Yes, we all we please. Yeah, bro, she's not stupid. She's just a modulus. Great, what is she supposed to call you? Oh, god damn! You wanna be called a dumb bitch? Just, just damn. I can feel my brain is all in from watching this scene, Ryobi. Thank you. Alright, comedy scene over. It's obviously some serious shit. <laughs> that was so good! You forgot! Oh my god! Didn't you just get blown like fucking sky high? How do you get that? Yes, walk towards the light. That's a great idea, you know. It's not like you just got blown up. That light, maybe you dying. <laughs> At least one of you is thinking, what the fuck? Oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, what's happening? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> this time it's my first fight, folks. My first fight. I get to use tip flats. Of course, technically, Rio. Ryobi? Ryobi transformation. She gets a pair. Nice pair. Alright, it's time for the tutorial. Oh, we can move the camera now, yay! So, you know the drill. Left to right, camera in, movement. Circle is dash. Short. A quick press is this. A long press is pretty much running. Ooh, I like these visuals. They seriously up the camera. Of course, this is the PS4 version, so I can't expect too much out of the Vita version. Can't do any videos there, you know. I'm sorry, guys. Square for a, for a quick attack. Triangle for a strong attack. Holding triangle gives you a very strong attack. Up to lock onto the enemy. So there we go. That's lock on. If you press up again, you'll unlock on. Square. As you think, it's a hack and flash. So square, you're killing like thousands of enemies. Real quick. Your combo meter is real nice. There we go. There we go. There's that triangle. That triangle. That triangle bullet. Alright. There's the holding triangle move. As you can see, it rips off the clue. Very nice. It's very, very nice. I, I see you guys. I know you guys can see the bars at the bottom. The blue bar is your health. The yellow bar that is steadily moving, that's their Shinobi transformation bar. As you can see, I currently have three scrolls. With one scroll, I can go ahead and activate my Shinobi transformation. I'm gonna hold that back for a little while though. It also regenerates your health completely, so. When I get to my first boss, I'm gonna use that. And after a bit of clothing damage, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Alright, that's all for those ones. Oh, see, there's your tutorial. It's called the Ninja Art Gauge. See, 
Blue's health bar, yellow is the Jart gauge. L1 activates the Shinobi transformation, aka Flash, get some tea, some egg, and some new clothes. Alright, time for. Ah, yeah. Oh, wow. That, that, that's a bit more than I was expecting. I think I did the same. She gets a bit of a uh, cup size up. <laughs> there we go. This is our Shinobi outfit. As you can see, your support character also transforms which is Unfortunately, uh, Rio Buzz transformation does not change in her moves. Some characters it changes the moves, some characters it doesn't. It just doesn't have to change her. Alright, let's let me, let me kick some ass. With her, uh, with her bus kick, that should be a shotgun. Let's be realistic, this ain't a shotgun. on the tutorial your square move it attacks the uh, the lower area I'm just gonna be straight out here with you guys L1 square attacks the panties L1 triangle attracts the breasts or L1 circle attacks both and if they are down to their panties and bra if you press L1 square you will knock everything off Of course, like the thing says, you'd only learn that when you reach a certain level. Alright, let me use the L1 triangle. Oh, they cut out the movie scenes. So I kind of like them. In the previous game, it's a little movie scene. Now, let me, let me move out into a more open place so you can actually see them. Alright, L1 triangle is real one. Wide area. L1 triangle is her. The last in front of you type movie up. Your everything in front of me must die. All right, now let me let me kick some ass real quick. So I can show you guys that L1 triangle. All right, let me go around a bit. L1 triangle here it comes. There you go. You see that? Real nice. Rihanna is probably the only character in the game that really does special items and long range techniques. You know, I don't like her because uh, you yeah. know. Until she levels up, she kind of sucks. I'll just be for real with you guys. She kind of sucks to me to level up. The gameplay here is not in depth. You won't earn this shit after a couple of things. Alright, let's move over to the next part. Run, run, run. Alright, there we go. Let's pass the barrier. Alright, I think that's it for the tutorial. Let's think. Yeah, that's it for the tutorial. I kind of wanted a boss fight, but hey, that was a good tutorial. Alright, guys, that was it for me. Dead Box, go ahead and your verses. Uh, thanks for watching. Please tune in again.